I wish the general level layouts were made tougher too. It almost seems the bosses have been made harder. Most of the extra difficulty I'm encountering is self-imposed. I prefer harder difficulty settings, which actually change up the level design. Last charm get.
Ah, close one. I'm gonna die immediately, aren't I? The last third stages in the game feel shorter than the first two thirds. We're back in a trippy space level. To be frank, I rate it as highly as Super Cable Boy. Nevertheless, Border Treats. I'd actually say that this game starts out tougher than Super Cable Boy, but ends up being easier in the late game. I haven't died 64 times in one stage after all. If I were to score this, this would be an almost good to good game. It's because the cable counts as a physical object.
On a boss time again. When it does this, you know it's going to the next phase. Oh, I hate dodging this attack. Not quite fast enough. I keep underestimating how fast those eye beams come out. This second playthrough will be edited down, by the way. Done. Hardcore mode is complete. And with that, my let's play of Primal Light is complete. So here are my overall toss in the game. Graphically, the Pixar graphics are wonderful. Reminds me of the SNES era and then some. And has some of the best pixel art I've seen in the past few months. Music wise, most of the tracks are more atmospheric. The graphics combined with the music produce a more horror themed atmosphere. Gameplay wise, this was a joy. In terms of controls, abilities, level design, enemies, bosses, and how everything fits together. And I can't forget about the optional upgrades and charms, which reward exploration and skill. Of particular note are some of the charms, which are definitely geared for more advanced play, such as the damage buffing ones. I do have some criticisms and critiques however, namely in regards to stages 1 and 4. There should have been a few more screens to better introduce the new enemies and mechanics. Plus, I wish there were a few more items we could purchase from the shopkeeper, instead of there only being extra lives, and hardcore mode modifying the level design. It didn't really feel that much more difficult compared to veteran. I only died 32 times during this run, and they were all mostly my fault. Overall, I found this to be a good retro indie action platformer, and I highly recommend you check it out. Especially if you're into this subgenre. If not, just wait for a small sale. I can't emphasize enough how much I enjoy this experience. It's an example of a good retro throwback. In any case, thanks for watching my let's play of Primal Light viewers. Once again, I thank the developers for providing me a key for the title. It's really appreciated. If you enjoyed this let's play, please rate, comment, favorite, and or subscribe, as they all help out the channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, and join my Discord server, as I regularly post updates there. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all in a future Let's Play.